Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to welcome all of you back for another video and today we're going to go ahead and we're going to take all this scruff off. And like I said in the unboxing video with all the stuff my friend Christian gave me, we're going to pretty much use stuff from that box. Anyhow, so the razor we're using today is going to be the Rockwell 6S head set on plate setting 6 on the West Coast Shaving All Brass um, handle. The brush is going to be my 24mm AP Shave Co. Tuxedo Knot in the Ruby, Ruby Ripple handle. Absolutely wonderful brush. I love that brush. The blade is going to be a fresh feather high stainless and the soap will be from the shaving guy well groomed guy shaving soap beautiful scent on this soap it's not in your face but it's not you know it's not lacking I'd say it's a little less than medium strength and we're going to be lathering that up in my because my Timeless lather bowl still has quite a bit of K Shave Works bourbon and strop or strop and bourbon. I'm gonna be lathering up in my um, what do you call it uh, empty Castle Forbes lavender shaving cream tub. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna cut away here and I'm gonna just go ahead and get a blade loaded into the razor and. Um, get the soap all done out. See you in a minute. Yeah, it turns out that on those blades that I showed you, the Voshkods weren't, it was not the cardboard sleeve. It was the Ziploc bag um, that my friend thought was the Sharks. Sorry, Christian. The Sharks were in the cardboard sleeve. The Voshkods were in the Ziploc bag uh, that you thought were the Sharks. Anyways, so I got my soap made up. Um, got a fresh feather loaded into the razor. The razor is on plate setting six, like I said. So let's go ahead and get the face wet and start the shave. This is a towel base soap. My friend Christian says, mmm, kind of citrusy notes come out after you lather it. Mmm, I like that. Mmm, yeah, lathering it, the, it seems to release the scent notes. Um, so, I'm going to have to go on Amazon and be a better YouTuber and, um, see what the scent notes are. I don't know. Kind of reminiscent a little bit of Piacenza. Which is, if you're you know, familiar with that soap, you know it's uh, basically inspired by Aqua di Parma. So, um, or if you're familiar, if you're not familiar with that, and you're familiar with the triple X, or the one X and the two X, you know, forget which one is an exact, or, you know, is exactly the ADP dupe. Um, but, it's good soap, it lathered up well. Um, I didn't want to introduce too much water, so, um, that's good. I don't like a big, thick Santa Claus beard, so. A little bit of soap on the handle of the brush. Right. So, nice soap so far. Lathered well. Lathered up relatively quickly. Uh, 
Um, so let's go ahead and get some heat in this blade. just right through the whiskers. This is not a handle I will use every day. Um, it is heavy, but or whatever it is. Or 102. I can't remember it. Christian said 110 or 102. Definitely makes quick work of the whiskers. Let's go and let's try to be ambidextrous. Shelly? Nice feedback. An ingrown hair that I ended up getting like right here on my cheek. So right there on my cheek. I think maybe since I started traditional wet shaving, maybe two, three of them. This here mustache never quite looks right until after I'm done with the shave and then I have my girlfriend look at it and she, you know, if I'm not quite sure then she looks at it and tells me where I need to thin or whatever. Anyways, gonna rinse off for past two. And we'll just do a two pass today. I'm letting this mustache get in nice and thick. Anyway, so if you live here in California and last night, which was Saturday, um, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, if you are on the 15 or 215, um, or you saw what happened on that road in the news, um, we were stuck in that mess, um, it took us roughly to make a three hour trip, two and a half, three hour trip home. It took us roughly 10 hours, or a little more, because there was a five car pile up, I uh, just hope nobody was hurt. My girlfriend, she said when she saw the reports, if she remembers correctly, it looked like a bus was involved. But, um... Uh, we were in bumper to bumper traffic, taking forever to drive from Riverside up to Hesperia and um, see my friend Christian. 
Luckily, my son is a great traveler. He wasn't whining, he wasn't crying on the ride. Thank goodness. My guy, Dog Herbie, he's always a great traveling buddy. Um, but when we, I mean, people were being absolute douche nozzles, I should say. Uh, they were passing on the shoulder um, to get around. Just horrible, 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 horrible driving manners. Um, it was bad. Um, the soap, plenty of slickness, plenty of glide. Seems like so far everything a person wants in a shaving soap. I know I'm kind of late to the party. Other people have tested it as use this soap on camera. Can serve some couple other guys. But it's a great soap. Um, but yeah, we got up to finally where the accident was. And there was a tow truck trying to get one of those toy hauler trailers hooked up and taken away. There was a semi on the side of the road. Um, just the tractor part. I don't know if he was involved or what. Sand guys in hazmat suits and two fuel tankers. How you usually you look at a double tanker and it's the one hooked to the fifth wheel part of the of the tractor with like a set of wheels, you know, swiveling with the uh, the tongue hooked on to the back of that one, on the second one. Well, both of them were just down on their noses so there was two tankers involved it was a mess so my heart goes out to anybody that might have been involved in that um, hope they're alright because it was, looked bad. And, uh, and of course, there are a lot of people that have absolutely no idea how to merge. So, oh, I think I got myself my phone. So, my girlfriend, she saw an arrow that showed merge to the left. She did so, but of course, people were not doing so. Um, oh, got a little bit right there. So of course, people were not doing so, so that kind of made it a little bit of a joy. Okay. Like I said, I will. Trim this up here a bit. There we go. So 
But yeah, it was it was it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. So sounds like K Kiefer or C Kiefer. Sounds like he had a nice Thanksgiving. So, and I hope all of you did as well. Anyhow, so let's see here. We'll go ahead, cut away here, rinse up. Do my head. And we'll be back for the post where we'll go ahead and use the Florida water and see how that goes. Anyways, see y'all in a minute. Hey guys. Anyways, all I can say about that soap is if you ain't got it, um, get it. Give it a try. Um, the lather was great. Nice, creamy, thick. Um, cushion, slickness, glide. Residual slickness, everything you want in the soap. Um, lathered up relatively quickly. Um, so, yeah, it's a great soap. Um, the blade, of course, it was a feather. It went ahead, and I had some work for it to do, and it just went through the whiskers like they just weren't there. Um, four or five days, four days growth, four and a half days growth. So, yeah, I definitely needed some help. Um, the handle, yeah, it's a heavy handle. I don't see myself shaving with it all the time, uh, but it's definitely one beefy, beefy handle. Um, my girlfriend back in the room saying, Happy Thanksgiving weekend to everybody. Um, yeah, the blade great. Um, the rock, the head on the handle was a Rockwell 6S on setting R6. Um, most blade gap you can get on that razor, and it just with that feather blade, it just nothing, nothing. Nice and smooth. Hang on, guys. My girlfriend's on the phone with somebody. She must have been saying Happy Thanksgiving weekend to them. Um, I did neck myself back here on my head. That wasn't the razor's fault. That was my fault. Um, you know, it happens. The uh, question is not if you're going to get cut. It's when you're going to get cut. So, the last thing to do is the post. So, let's go ahead. And I'm using the last of the um, witch hazel. From my Dickinson's, it's in this, um, not the new bottle, but the bottle that uh, was sent to me by Dennis. Um, I went ahead and packed it in my little travel bottle from a dot bag. So, I had to use a little bit of styptic on that nick, because um, I mean, come on guys, it's feather. Feather blades, they... When they nick ya, they nick ya. Still got enough for a few shaves in there. So um, I'm not gonna worry about bomb today, because the post shave, oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the post shave from that soap is it's really, really nice. I'm really, really happy with that soap. Um shaving guy, if you go ahead, if you see this video, um make more sense. It's a great scent, from what I understand. He only makes that one scent. So, but more scents would be great. Now, my brother, I don't know if you saw my last video or one of the early, you know, not my last video, maybe the one before that. But my brother said the Florida water he put it on his neck and it made all the muscles and everything just bulge out on his neck. He said it feels like napalm. Mixed with gasoline, that was his words today. So, let me go ahead and get the scraps of paper off the floor of water. So, not the fanciest bottle, but you know what? It's... Hmm. 
think they're going for that champagne or... Okay, here we go, guys. Hmm, not bad. Hmm. Hmm, I like the smell of that. I do. I like the smell of this here, Florida water. place the smell but I do I do like this anyways that's cool thank you Christian yeah kind of a champagne bubble look anyways hmm. so yeah that's the shave hope y'all enjoyed it um, once again happy Thanksgiving to all hope you enjoyed your your turkey day and I shall see all of you on the flip side of the lake. Bye-bye now.